moment. What the heck? I'm just kidding. I knew you were here because I started thinking to myself. Before I got in the shower, I'm like, yo, I'm about to take one kick-ass shower. But in order to take a kick-ass shower, you gotta know what you're doing because a lot of dudes make six incredibly bad mistakes that are absolutely killing your shower game. And today, in an attempt to help you kick your shower's ass, I'm gonna go over six of the biggest shower mistakes most men make and how to fix them. Number one. The water temperature in your shower is just a little too hot. Personally, I love hot showers. For me, there's nothing better than getting in there, blasting it as hot as I can stand it, and just like kind of sitting in there and doing my thing. The thing is relaxing. Not what you do, you little pervert. No, I'm kidding, you're not a pervert. That's what young dudes do. Anyway, where am I going with this? What I'm trying to say is that super hot water is actually bad for your skin. It dries it out. It's also bad for your hair. Just turn it down a little bit to a lukewarm, tepid. Is that cold shower? Not for me. Now, I did do a video talking about the benefits of cold showers. If you missed that video, I will link to it down below. But you gotta decide for yourself if you're man enough for the cold shower number two. Too much product. Guys, we are notorious for using too much product. This goes for shampoo, conditioner, body wash. In terms of shampoo, all you really need is about that much. A little goes a long way. Really what you ultimately end up doing is just wasting a lot of product. You go through it faster, resulting in you having to spend more money. The third biggest mistake men make is not using a loofah. Loofah! The inspiration for this video is the Silver and Gold Body Wash by Pete and Pedro. Um, we launched it a few months ago and like right away we started getting some comments about it doesn't foam up a lot. Not foaming you say? This had me a little bit perplexed because when I use it I get a nice rich lather not like crazy sudsy because one of the things that we did for the body wash is we eliminated paraffins and sulfates. But then it hit me. I went home, I did a little experiment. I took the body wash, poured it in my hand, and then went to town. That's when I knew the error of your ways. You're not using a loofah. Guys, loofahs and body puffs are what sort of activate body washes. Um, you know how when you use a hair product, you need to emulsify it, right? You rub it, you heat it up in your hands. The loofah or body puff is sort of like emulsifying, right? When you actually add the body wash to it, right? It gets all in those little like nooks and crannies and foams up and it activates it. So when you start rubbing it on that sexy body of yours, bang, suds galore. And also you don't need to use as much body wash. And a lot of these premium body washes like Molten Brown are expensive. And so you wanna make sure that you're not like overdoing it. And if you just apply it to your hand and try and do this action and expect it to actually clean you, not so much. Gentlemen, if you wanna check out the gold or silver body wash from Pete and Pedro or any of the incredible products that we offer. The link down below along with the discount code. Also, for those of you who have fallen in love with the putty, the most incredible matte product in the history of matte products and my hair, we also now sell it in the big boy size. Four big, bold ounces of incredible hair amazingness. If you're not using a loofah, you are totally not exfoliating your body, which means you're not removing the dead skin cells, preventing ingrown hairs, preventing blackheads, breakouts, but this brings us to the fourth and one of the other big issues that a lot of guys have, is that they're not actually cleaning their body properly in certain places. Your crotch, your butt, and your feet. All right, so time to be honest. How many of you do a good job when it comes to washing your feet every time you get in the shower? Whatever, Brian. I know you're lying because I've smelled your feet from a distance, you stinky bastard. You gotta wash your feet. You gotta wash your feet. You gotta wash your butt. You gotta wash your junk, your balls. Why? Because these are the areas that bacteria, they're hot, it's dark, it's sweaty, it's dank, it's damp. Musky nut, swamp ass, and stinky feet. The fifth biggest mistake guys make is using the same soap for your body as you do on your face. Skin on that handsome face yours is very different than the skin on your super sexy body because of few reasons. The skin on your face is thinner. It's more delicate. It's like your tender heart. It's more sensitive. And so a more sensitive face or skin needs a more sensitive, refined, beautiful product like this. Tiege Hanley. 
<laughs> you thought I was gonna actually let this sweet thing hit the floor? Hell no! If you haven't checked out T. Janley, link below, also a discount code. We give you all the products you need, nothing extra, just the stuff that's gonna keep you looking fresh, fine, and super freaking handsome forever. And last, but certainly not least, the sixth reason why your shower game potentially sucks is that you're not showering as much as you should. Whoo, mama, I don't know what is wrong with you, young men. You need to shower once a day. I'm gonna lay it out there. You gotta do it once a day because your hormones are raging. When your hormones are raging, things are stinking, things are changing on your body. And one of the most offensive things that I've ever run into or encountered are people that don't shower. Young dudes, guilty of not showering enough. You're like, I showered uh, three days ago. I'm good, ma. Ah, you stinky little bastard. Get your ass in the shower once a day. I know some cultures, it's not as, as common to shower every single day. I know that Americans are a little bit more obsessed with, you know, being clean or the perception of being clean. All I'm saying is if your ass stinks, get your ass in the shower. Oh, God. God like seriously, like now.